The star that just won't die. Know how Super Mario has a superstar that makes him invincible for a short time? Well, this star trumps it, and epically so. A three-year-long supernova event half a billion light-years from Earth in the Ursa Major constellation has confounded astronomers. Designated as IPTF-14HLS, the supernova was first detected in 2014. Reportedly, there was a similar explosion observed in 1954 in the same area. Scientists theorized the original star was so hot it may have created antimatter at its core, forcing it to become unstable and explode. This could lead to the supernova repeating until it eventually tears a hole in space-time and becomes a black hole. And what would lay beyond that theoretical space abyss is anybody's guess. Zombie stars are cool, but how about a monster planet? Monster planet found. Last week, space got a wee bit stranger when astronomers found a monster planet. Named NGTS-1b, the celestial body is a gas giant around the same size as Jupiter. It orbits a star half the size of the Sun. Researchers say this is the largest planet compared to the size of its companion star ever discovered. NGTS-1b orbits the star at 3% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. As such, it holds a temperature of 530 degrees centigrade and orbits the star every 2.6 days. The discovery challenges formation theory, which posits smaller stars can only form rocky planets, not gas giants. It's unknown yet if this is the place where all the Power Rangers bad guys come from. Neutron stars birth a kilonova. Feeling up for a fireworks show of galactic proportions, Tomo Sapiens? Then aren't you in for a treat? Millions of light years from the Milky Way, inside the Hydra constellation is an elliptical galaxy. It's here astronomers believe they detected both light and gravity from a kilonova event. That's cool, Tomo, but what the Kenobi are they? First detected in 2013, a kilonova is a class of supernova explosion resulting from two colliding neutron stars. The Space Telescope Science Institute says each neutron in this case was no wider than Washington, D.C. Typically, they're between 6 and 12 miles in diameter. The Institute added that the stars in question weighed between 10% and 60% more than our Sun. That's 4.18 nonillion pounds, 4.18 followed by 30 zeros multiplied by 1.1 and 1.6 times, respectively. It's the collision of two of these ultra-compact densities in that astronomers believe emitted light and gravity strong enough to be observed on Earth. And that's a big deal, because it's the first time gravity and light have been spotted coming from the same cosmic event. What followed the kilonova is unknown. But NASA astrophysicist Eleonora Troya speculates the cosmic explosion may have formed a black hole. And inside that, Tomo sapiens, is what's generally referred to as the point of no return, a place beyond reality. Better call the alien welcome party, for now. This is KIC 8762852, aka Tabby Star. Since October 2015, it had space buffs lit with speculation that it's an alien super science. Except, it's not. Dyson spheres are theoretical cosmic megastructures. They envelop a planet with energy-absorbing technology which directs power to a central location. Some astronomers previously theorized the dimming of Tavi's star was caused by this. This star is located 1,280 light-years from Earth. New research using data from NASA's Spitzer and Swift Space Telescopes suggests the dimming is actually due to a dust cloud orbiting the star. Known as circumstellar dust, NASA says these particles are not small enough to fly into space, but also not big enough to block light all the time on all wavelengths. But they can't be absolutely positively sure, so we're still holding out for the Death Star. The Heliosphere, NASA's Voyagers Beyond the Solar System. NASA's twin voyagers, both launched four decades ago this year, have traveled to the edges of and beyond our solar system and through the heliosphere. That's basically a giant solar space bubble protecting our solar system from deadly cosmic rays. NASA's Voyager 2 launched 40 years ago on August 20th, 1977. It's currently in a region of space known as the heliosheath. This forms part of the heliosphere. That's a giant multi-tiered magnetic bubble originating from the sun in which our solar system resides. The heliosheath is a turbulent region of space that has 700 km per hour solar winds. 
The prefix Helios comes from the Greek Titan god of the sun. The Helios sheath is past the termination shock, an outer limit of our solar system where these winds are impacted by interstellar winds. Outside the Helio sheath is the Heliopause, an area that balances both winds, sending them back down to the tail of the heliosphere. And beyond that is interstellar space, the space between stars. This is where Voyager 1 currently is. They've got enough power to last until 2020, after which NASA says they'll be destined to drift through the Milky Way for, probably, all of time.